Senior political correspondent Jeff Greenfield takes a look at the good, the bad, and the ugly. The financial storms this week did something the Obama campaign had been unable to do for the past two weeks, shift the spotlight away from questions of culture and values back to the economy, where Democrats generally fare better. His campaign produced a two-minute straight-to-camera ad, a rarity in today's 30-second universe, about what Obama would do. End the anything-goes culture on Wall Street with real regulation that protects your investments and pensions. Obama got an unintended boost from Senator McCain's response to the crisis, from reassurance... The fundamentals are, of our economy are strong. ...to an attempted explanation... It's the fundamentals of our economy are the American worker. ...to a proposal that sounded very much like a familiar Washington response to crisis. We need to set up a 9-11 commission in order to get to the bottom of this. And at 10.30 that night, we got... The Army came to our house. This week, the Democratic Senatorial Campaign Committee unveiled an ad in Minnesota in which bereaved parents who lost their son in Iraq point an accusing finger at Senator Norm Coleman. If Norm Coleman would have stood up to the president and said, this is not a good idea, maybe he would have listened. The suggestion that President Bush would have changed course because of a single senator and that the deaths in Iraq can be laid at the senator's door is likely to trigger charges that this ad crosses the line. Welcome to the Department of Peace. And in the head-shaking category, a conservative group is ridiculing Democratic Colorado Senate candidate Mark Udall's support for a Department of Peace as a wacko notion from Woodstock Nation, complete with its favorite recreational pleasures. Anybody got a brownie? Well, we'll have another installment next week, Harry. Can't Peace wait. and love, baby. Can't wait for that. Thanks very much, Jeff.